Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom website with a complete step-by-step -step tutorial and guide using a website builder platform I recently discovered, Wix Studio. Maybe this is the first time you've heard about Wix Studio, but after watching this video, you will see its potential as a platform worth trying. So, for those of you who don't know, Wix Studio is the latest website builder platform from Wix, specifically designed for anyone looking to create professional websites. So whether you're a professional freelancer, agency, enterprise, or anyone building websites for clients, Wix Studio gives you full creative control and provides a wide range of powerful and flexible tools to help you build professional websites from basic to advanced levels. Alright, if you're curious about how to make a custom website from scratch, this video will guide you step by step with Wix Studio. And now, let's get started. Okay, now we can go directly to the Wix Studio website. The link is in the description, so you can just click and together we'll start creating a custom website from scratch. First, we can click Start Creating. Now we're in the main dashboard of Wix Studio, where we can manage all our projects. So, let's click here to create a new project. And here, we can choose, start from a blank canvas. Alright, now we are in the main interface of the Wix Studio Editor. So by default, it will give us this basic layout as a starting point. Okay, as you've seen in the website demo at the beginning of the video, so in this tutorial we will make a custom website for a cabin rental business. First for the header or navbar, we can delete these elements inside it because we don't need them. Then, we can add horizontal padding of around 40 pixels to give space to the left and right sides of the header. Next, we will add a logo so we can go to media, and here I've already uploaded several assets that we will use in our custom website. But if you have your own image or video, you can also upload it from here. And here, we can also use various free media provided directly by Wix, such as images, videos, icons, and others. So, all of these media can be used for free to enhance the appearance of our website. And, to make the search easier, we can also filter them by category. There are so many categories here that we can choose from. Then by orientation and color. Then at the top here, there is a search bar that we can use to search for images based on keywords. So, all of this really helps to save time and speed up our work. Then here, if we want to use paid images or videos, we can search for them through Shutterstock. Wix is already directly integrated with Shutterstock, so we can purchase and add the images directly from here. Then there is Unsplash, which also provides many free photos that we can use. We can search and add images directly from Unsplash without having to leave Wix Studio. Besides that, there is also the AI Image Creator feature, an advanced feature that allows us to create unique images using AI according to the description we provide here. Cool right? Okay, now let's add the logo to our website page. We can drag it to the header element, then adjust its size and position. Next, we will add social media icons. We can go to Add Elements, and here Wix Studio provides a lot of components that we can use and customize according to our website needs. And because we need social media icons, we can go to Embed and Social, then choose Social Bars. We choose this one. Delete the icons we don't want. And adjust their position. Then we will add a button. Go to Add Elements, Quick Add, and choose button. Change the text. Change the background color. Set the radius. Change the background color when hovered. And adjust its position. Then for these three elements, we set the responsive behavior to fixed. So, on tablet view it will look like this, nice, and on mobile view it will look like this. 
And here, I will hide these social media icons because later in the footer section I will also add social media icons, so now the header on the mobile view will look nice like this. And to see the result, we can click preview. Okay, looks good. Next for the hero section, we set the height and padding. Then go to add elements, choose title, change the style to heading one, change the text, and adjust it. After that, change the color of this trivia text. Go to add elements again, choose paragraph, change the text, change the responsive behavior to wrap, align the text to center, and adjust its position. Then duplicate this button, change the button text, and adjust it. Now, we select these three elements and click Stack. This is useful to group those elements automatically so they are arranged neatly and responsively, and it makes it easier for us to manage the spacing between elements without having to adjust them one by one. After that, adjust the position again so it's really centered. Next we add a section. We can also add an element from here. Choose Video. Change the video and stretch it. Here we can set the video behavior as we like. I will mute the sound of this video. Then we can click the section and change the responsive behavior to fixed height. OK, next for the About section. Here Wix Studio provides many layouts that we can use and customize as we like, and here we choose this one. Then set the padding and horizontal gaps. We can go to Add Elements, choose Title, change the text, and change the responsive behavior to Fixed. Go to Add Elements again, choose Paragraph, change the text, adjust it, and change the responsive behavior to wrap. Then we can copy this button again and change the button text. After that, select all these elements, click Stack again, set the item spacing, and adjust it. Now for the image, go to Add Elements, choose Image, Change the image. Adjust the image size. Set the radius. Click mask and choose the shape we want. Then adjust the position. Next for the cabin section, adjust the height. and also add 20 pixels padding. Then we can add a title, change the text, and adjust it. After that, for the cabin images or cabin gallery, we can choose a layout from here. And you can see here, Wix Studio provides a lot of grid layouts that we can use. This really helps make our work faster and more efficient. So I highly recommend you try Wix Studio directly, and it's really cool. Okay, now we will choose this one. Nice. After that, we adjust the padding and gaps to give space to each image. Next, we will insert the images we want. For the first image, we can click here, Add Media, and choose the image we want. Okay, then set the radius to 20 pixels. Then repeat the same steps for each cell. Now, let's move on to the next section. Then set the height and vertical padding on the section. Go to Add Elements again, 
Quick add and choose title. Change the text. Change the responsive behavior to wrap. Change the text size. Align the text to center and adjust it. Then change the spacing to one. Now we can add another section. Click add an element. Choose video. Change the video and stretch it. Then click Behaviors and mute the video. Then we go to Mask and choose the shape again. After that, click on the section, change the responsive behavior to Fixed Height. OK, next for the last section, adjust the height and padding. Go to Media and add a logo. Adjust the position and change the responsive behavior to Fixed. Next add a title. Change the text. Adjust it. Change the responsive behavior to Wrap and align the text to Center. Go to Add Elements again, choose Paragraph. Change the text. Adjust it. Also change the responsive behavior to wrap and align the text to center. Then for the button, we can copy it, paste it here, and adjust its position. After that, as usual, select all these elements and click stack to group them. Then adjust the item spacing and adjust the position again so it's really centered. And finally, for the footer section, Set the horizontal padding to 40 pixels, change the text, and adjust it. Then add the social media icons again, and adjust them. And now, to make our website more interesting, let's add animation to each element we want. First, for this heading text, we can go to Animations and Effects. And here we can choose the animation trigger type, such as entrance for animation when the element appears, hover for when it's hovered by the cursor, and others. Here we will choose entrance. After selecting the animation trigger, now we can choose the animation type. All of this will determine how the element appears on the screen. And now we choose slide animation. Then, to customize it, we go to adjust animation, and here we can customize the animation we chose as we like. Then if we want to directly see the animation result, we can click Preview here. OK, next for the paragraph text, we will also choose Entrance and choose Slide. Then for the button, do the same. And for the video also give the same animation. Repeat the same steps for each element we want to give animation to. All right, if it's done, now we can see the result. Click Preview and the result will look like this. Very good. And to make our website go online, we can click the Publish button here. And here, before our website is published, we will be asked to choose a domain. We can use the free domain provided by Wix Studio like this, and we are free to change the ending part as we wish. Or, if we already have our own domain, we can choose the second option to connect it to this site. After that, we can click the Save and Continue button to continue the publishing process and click View Site. All right, now you know how to make a custom website from start to finish with Wix Studio. So, if you're curious and want to try it yourself, just visit and explore Wix Studio through the link in the description of this video and see how Wix Studio can help you build a website quickly, efficiently, and professionally. All right, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and see you in the next video.